what is going on guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you guys how to send attachments using discord.js if you guys are new to my channel and this channel or this playlist that i'm currently doing um it's how to create a discord bot using discord.js but instead of the traditional beginning to end i usually go over the comment sections of the last video and try picking out a topic to uh implement into uh the discord bot so in this video as recommended from the last video someone commented they wanted me to show you guys how to send an image uh to the, the messenger whoever sends the message um, using discord.js but instead of just doing just sending message I just I'm gonna do a video on how to send in general attachments so how to send local attachments um, and how to send attachments that you can find on the web uh, so yeah if you guys are enjoying this video make sure uh, you hit the like button and comment below any suggestions for upcoming videos guys I really read the comments I really look at the comments and try picking out what is the best topic I can do for the next video uh, so make sure you comment below any suggestions for the upcoming videos so let's go ahead and get started so one thing I do have to say is that if you're new here uh, there'll be a link in the description to the playlist um, I suggest watching the first two or three videos uh, so you can you know you can understand the code uh, make sure you at least watch uh, the second video on how to create commands because that's gonna that's mainly what we're gonna be using here uh, we're gonna be using commands to communicate with our bots so let's go ahead and get started so one quick thing we're gonna do is we actually have to fix some stuff up here um, in our first two lines of code the first thing we're gonna do is instead of discord we're gonna rename it client um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually open this up in parentheses. Um, and what we have to do is we have to extract the file from discord.js. And to do that, we have to uh, do a comma and we're going to extract the class attachments so we can use the class attachment on this file. Once we did this, we actually have to remove the uh, new discord.client. We just have to do new clients. Um, and I'm actually going to run the bot just to make sure that everything is fine. The bot is online. We are good to go. So let's actually get down to business on creating our command that will send an attachment. We'll come down here in case and we're just going to do the, the command send. I um, mean here, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is create a const or a, va or a variable, sorry. Um, and we're going to name it attachment. It's going to be equal to a new attachment, and this is the class that we just extracted uh, up here. And then for our first little uh, attachment we want to send, let's try sending um, a little image from the web. So let's make our Discord.js fetch a, a, a image from the web without having to store the image locally. So I'm just going to send this image right here. We're going to do open image, a new tab, and we're going to grab this link right here to, uh, to our discord, a little image right here. And then we're just going to paste it right here. And that's pretty much it. The next thing I have to do is just do message that channel message, the channel that send, um, and let's reply to the user. So let's do message that author, um, and a little comma, and then we're going to send the attachment we just created there. Um, let's just finish that off and then let's just open a terminal node space dots if you don't know what this means once again go look at the beginning of videos where I go over uh, how to uh, start your little discord bot so let's go into our little discord server and let's do the command send and our discord will fetch the file from the internet and send it into uh, the message that it replied to replied to so let's do a local file let's say you have a file stored in the server or in your computer wherever you're running the discord so if you open up the files um you know the components of your discord bot if you open this up this is where we have the node modules and we have uh, our js file and our package.json file you we can see here that i added an image called image um and this is the Im the image we're going to try sending this little 3d uh discord logo here um, so I'm going to, you know, show you guys how to uh, send a local file. So a file that was, that's currently in the folder um, that you have the project on. Make sure it's in the folder that you have the project on. So we're going to do another case and we're going to do send local. Um, and we're just going to do, actually we're just going to break it. Make sure you always break it. 
so we don't forget. We're gonna do a const, and we're gonna create another attachment. It's gonna be attachment two equals new attachment, um, and then instead of the URL, we're gonna do a dot slash the file name, so image, and then let's do we have to do the JPEG. So make sure you have the uh, uh, if it's a JPEG or a PNG file. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing, which is just message the channel, uh, the channel that send. And then we're just going to do message that author. And then we're going to do attachment, uh, attachment two. And with that, we're going to close our bot, open it up again. Let's go to Discord, send local. And you can see that the bot will fetch the local file uh, that was stored in inside the folder that we have the project. And it will send it to the user by replying it. We're going to do one more thing, and that is if you want to send a text file. So I create a text file here, just do a new uh, text document, a TXT file. And here I'm just going to do, I just named the rules and then I just put one, don't cheat or whatever. Uh, but usually a lot of people send text files if you, some some servers may use it for rules, uh, other servers may use it for something else, for sending information. Um, but you can send a text file uh, using this method right here. So we're going to create another const and we're just going to name it rules. Um, and then let's just break it and const and then we're just going to do another attachment attachment three equals new attachment and then instead of a jpeg file we're going to do a dot slash and then the name of our file which is rules.txt um, and then we're going to do message that channel that send and uh, make sure we reply to whoever sent the command oh author and then we do attach attachment three and with this we should be getting a uh, a little uh, text file when we do rules there we go and we got a text file so the user can actually come here and download it and it came up here it will download it into uh, the little browser and when they click on it it'll tell them the, uh, the whatever file you send so for this case it was the rules um, and they can just read the rules uh, from there so that's basically it this is how you send attachments using discord.js um, one quick thing I do suggest not sending any uh, video files because video files are kind of heavy um, and that might slow down your bots or might cause some problems uh, for sending uh, a big a big file so make sure that try keeping your files very very low not that heavy not a lot of uh, storage being sent um, a lot of data if, it, if your discord bot is sending a lot of data first of all uh, currently we're running our discord on our computer our discord our discord server our discord bot is running on our computer um, so it might slow down your computer it might slow down your internet it, it could have a lot of problems because uh, you don't have an actual server running this spot so make sure you don't send uh, heavy files because that might cause some problems you can send stuff like images like text files uh, you can send gifs uh, you can send any other low data uh, attachments that you can send and then with that you'll be good to go uh, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button comment below any suggestions for upcoming videos i'll be trying to uh you know listen and try uh you know trying to implement the best next video i can uh, so make sure you comment below any suggestions but yeah with that being said i'll see you guys later on my next video peace